Police get more time to question two people in connection with the murder of Ellie Edwards at a pub on Christmas Eve. They urge people to come forward with information. The families of the people who are involved in this, don't, don't tolerate it. Don't live off the profits, because you have blood on your hands too, if you're a bystander. Good morning. A warning that strikes could continue well into next year. The new head of the Trades Union Congress blames the government for refusing to negotiate over pay. Morning. Haaland strikes again to help Manchester City rise to second in the league. The Norwegian scored twice against the team he supports as City overcame a stubborn Leeds. Good morning. We've got some rain across North East Scotland. That's going to clear in the next few hours. Then for all of us, it's going to be a day of bright spells, sunshine and showers. Let's have a look at what the front pages of the newspapers are reporting this morning. We begin with the eye. And it says that unions are considering boycotting pay review negotiations next year, with the leader of the Trades Union Congress, Paul Novak, questioning their independence and credibility. We'll have more from Ben's interview with him a little bit later. Times reporting on a route from Labour to be the party of law and order after government figures show that police have not attended nearly two million reports of antisocial behaviour over the last three years. Different story on the front page of the Express. It's leading on the Prime Minister's own pledge to reduce crime, saying he'll make the UK streets safe for everybody. It follows what the paper calls a wave of violence, including the fatal shooting of Ellie Edwards on Merseyside. And the Liverpool Echo continues to report on the aftermath of Ellie Edwards' death. The headline says it's time to root out the gangland thugs who kill women and children. It's the time of year where there's lots of different stories inside the papers, but and many of them reflecting on the year that we've had. And I've picked this one out, page seven of the Daily Mirror. Just because of the extremities, it's felt like this is the year where climate change has been knocking on the door around the world. So the pictures that we just saw from Lake Erie in Ontario and Canada, um, these people's homes just completely encased in ice, layers of thick ice. Um, in New York, neighbouring uh, the chief executive, of Western New York said, this is the worst storm I've ever seen in terms of death from Mother Nature's wrath. And then underneath, you might have read about this um, late yesterday, 2022 in the UK was the hottest year yet. Climate change driving the year average above the record that was set in 2014. And somebody from the Met office saying, science has shown that temperatures witnessed in July would have been unlikely in the pre-industrial period before greenhouse gases were emitted. Those so, pictures, like, really those fully iced up homes warnings. are quite yeah, extraordinary, aren't they? They really are. Uh, so this is a story looking at uh, what people are doing on Christmas Day to a degree, but also tax returns. Lovely, Charlie. Tax returns, remember, <laughs> right? So the extraordinary level of detail they have about when people fill in their tax returns now. I mean, they can do it literally hour by hour. Come on, Jane. <laughs> Done yours yet? OK, no. just checking. So uh, <laughs> Christmas Day, HMRC uh, indicates that on Christmas Day, 3,275 people took a break from eating their lunch to fill in their tax returns on Christmas Day. Wow. OK, the detail goes even further than that. Um, the big rush on the 25th of December, it's not that big really, uh, this is between midday and 12.59, just around lunchtime on Christmas Day, 319 people filled in their tax returns. I mean, that is During your, that window that of time, 319 people. back with a snack and a drink time, yeah. isn't it? I can think of and better tax returns. <laughs> yeah, and then if you go back, 22,000 people submitted their tax forms between the 24th and the 26th of December. And then specifically, I love these timings, how do they know these things? HMRC added that 141 people opted to file their tax returns between 11 p.m. and 11.59 on Christmas Eve. Oh, wow. Was that you, Charlie? <laughs> it wasn't it. It wasn't me. But that, that's kind of... That's interesting, I suppose isn't as that? they ping it off, the computers can just take a record mm, of. Got to be done. They, yeah. Got to be done. Mm. If you are one of the people who decided to file your tax return on Christmas Day, let us know. Let us know what's wrong with your family.